integral face of the plant-based community. We're here to educate, teach. And the whole idea behind these vodcasts is to give a little more depth on what our company is all about. You know, for customers, shareholders, investors, we want to go behind the scenes for 20 minutes uh, each week. You know, it's disclosable items. It's all been in press releases. Everything could be found on our website. But more than just a press release going out there for people to be able to read, uh, you know, the high level points, we really want to explain what it means. When somebody invests in our company or becomes a customer, we want them to know that there's a lot more to the company itself, that it's not just a transaction by any means. And, um, you know, when I invest in companies, there are always companies that I believe in, um, products that I, I use, you know, it's really, really, it, it goes back to even what Warren Buffett teaches, right? You know, invest in what you believe in. And the reason why I had originally started PlantX was I had many successful e-commerce businesses. Even the last one, you know, went from 6 million to over a billion dollars in a year and a half. It was in a space that I believe has great medical benefits. However, I never even used the product. I started a plant-based journey, you know, over 10 years ago, and we wanted to have a community that opens its arms to whoever wants to explore, you know, many times people think, oh, vegans, um, you know, honey, I can't have, like, we are totally open. If you have steak or whatever you end up having, you're still welcome to our community and to be part of it. And that's really what we are trying to do is educate, teach. I get so many people all the time saying, I can't get full from plant-based eating, all these different things. But, you know, now after they try, for example, our squash, which was, you know, a hit two weeks ago, they're calling me saying, wow, Sean, this is absolutely incredible. And that really is what's so rewarding about what we're doing. And uh, I'm, I'm truly thankful for the team that we've put together. Uh, even having a professional podcast once a week, so much work goes into it, but I believe that it allows us to truly educate and get people involved in what we're doing. And even when I saw um, this week's shareholder list, you know, it shows that the reach is getting out there and more and more people are interested in what we're doing. So obviously, thanks again for um, joining today. So uh, you know, I'm really, really excited to uh, to tell you a little bit about um, Katie and John, who we have on the show today. Uh, the, an old friend of mine, uh, Dan Sorger, he, uh, he's over in, uh, he was living in Europe, now he lives down in Los Angeles. And when we were having lunch one day, started telling him about Plantex, he ends up investing in it, and turns out that he knows these two wonderful people you're going to meet today. And we uh, got connected. And when we started uh, Plantex, we never even thought we'd be selling plants, but it just makes so much sense because basically Katie and John are gonna be putting the plant into Plantex. So uh, welcome to the show this morning. Thank you very much for joining. Hey, Joe. Hey, hey, Joe. Hey, Thanks for having us. Yeah, no, thank you. And uh, you know, we like, uh, before getting right into absolutely everything on, on the show, we think a great question, you know, everybody's always traveling, always looking for the best coffee out there. I'm a massive lover of trying new things, trying to always get that best coffee. So we love to start off the, the vodcast on, you know, how do you guys take your uh, coffee? Sure, so uh, I like mine strong with like oat milk and sugar. Quite a lot of sugar, probably too much sugar, but yeah. <laughs> So I'm, uh, I'm traditionally a flat white guy, but um, we've had a quite a big, big, big lockdown here in the UK. Unfortunately, most of the coffee shops are shut in central London at the moment. So I actually bought a lockdown purchase of a home barista coffee machine. So now I take it however I can, however I make it. And it's definitely not a flat white every time, but it does the job. <laughs> yeah, I tend to have more, more cups that way each day, right? But uh, yeah, that's oh, great. God. <laughs> and I, and I've got none of the art, you know, sorted out yet. You know, I'm trying to look on videos, trying to get it right, but it's just not working. Yeah, it's, it is an art, but, um, you know, everything is, even uh, what you guys have uh, created over in the UK, which is uh, truly incredible. And, uh, you know, one thing that I find so amazing is uh, every person who, you know, I bring up plants, you know, you know how I am, like, 
I love to go out there and start sharing what we're doing. And then we announced the deal with you guys. Mm. And I originally said with plant-based eating, it was so interesting to everybody across the board from an 18 year old all the way up to a 90 year old. They all have stories about how they've tried it and all these different things. I've been blown away by any time I speak about plants, the love people have, oh, I just got a plant or my friend just got a plant. And since I've really jumped into understanding the business and all that, it's, it's truly been incredible like to even imagine how massive the plant space is. And uh, even myself, I was so curious. My first plan, I wanted to surprise you guys on the show today. I just thought it would be the perfect time, you know? And I, I think they're succulents, so I, it doesn't need too much water because, you know, I'm constantly traveling. So I got to make sure it stays alive here. But, you know, so uh, on that note, we'd love to um, hear, like we know Katie's background is in psychology. And then all of a sudden, you know, she goes ahead and starts this whole plant-based business. Your background, I think, is in banking. So tell us a little bit about yourselves and, you know, what led to a plant subscription company. Yeah, sure. So um, I kind of weirdly, yeah, got into plants through uh, therapy. So I started using plants as therapeutic tools with my uh, clients and was sort of amazed at kind of how it could move along sessions, especially when they were stuck. And, and when I decided to leave therapy, I didn't want to leave those learnings behind me. And um, it was around the time that everyone was starting to realize, like you say, that what you eat and whether you go to the gym has like a big impact on your mental well-being. And um, I was kind of like, well, wouldn't it be great if people also started to realize that what you surround yourself with, like your environment, also has a huge impact on your well-being and mental state. And, and that was really kind of the, the genesis of it all and what sort of launch sort of, uh, yeah, sprung us into, into Bloombox Club. Yeah, yeah. And what an amazing thing was, was that actually, I think there was less than 5% of all plants in the whole of Europe were sold through an e-commerce platform. So actually it was a huge industry, but stuck in the dark ages, you know, and you go to any garden center or nursery and they just hadn't cottoned on to what, you know, a new wave of shopping and, and what consumers wanted. So to us, it was kind of, you know, Kate, Kate came up with the idea and we said, well, this is a, a perfect for an e-commerce platform. And so from that, it just, you know, kind of exploded and, and you know, has thankfully worked out really well and, and continues to do well. So. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely uh, love uh, what you guys are doing at the, the site, the whole story behind the plant. When I originally spoke to you guys, you telling me about this whole story that comes with a plant, like it was really amazing. And, you know, I guess that leads into the next question, right? Like, how did you go from this uh, startup to like thousands of orders a, a, a year, you know, like how did that transaction, you know, transformation take place? Well, I think you, you've, you've mentioned it quite a lot in the introduction, Sean, is this sense of community, right? And it's deep within the plant X, um, you know, what, what you feel and, and how you believe that this will continue to grow. And actually, when we launched the business, we suddenly realized that there was this enormous community out there that also similarly had a love for plants, had a love for, you know, things that, you know, wellness products and, and things to make them better. So it's kind of like a really easy, organic way for us to grow the business. You know, we... we we first and foremost thought, well, look, we've got to, when we launch the company, we've got to have something that can have a lot of scale. We've got to have something that is unique and different to what the current offering is out there. And we've got to get something ultimately that our customers and consumers want and will really like. And so that's why we set up the business the way we did. You know, we're nationwide in the whole of the UK. We're going to be launching into Europe over the next six to 12 months, which is really, really exciting. And we've got this platform that can just allow us to expand. But really what I think has absolutely just made it explode is firstly that, you know, people love sending photos on Instagram and through their social about, you know, they've, they've got pride of their plants in their homes. And that's been, you know, the organic growth through that has been fantastic. And then secondly, it's really through Katie's work, which is linking the well-being benefits of plants. And I think that's something that's really cottoned on and, and people are really learning more and more about that actually it's not just, doesn't just look good, but actually it makes you feel good too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, exactly on that point, you know, um, I always thought it was a decorative thing, right? And then the more and more people that I speak to, they're like, yeah, it cleans the air in the office and all these different things. And it's like, I never thought about it that way. So, you know, Katie, maybe, you know, 
you want to give a little bit more context on that it's more than decoration and how it really has that wellness impact on people. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's really sort of Pandora's box when you get into it. But I think, um, like you said, first and foremost, like for anyone, just living with plants has such a huge impact on the quality of the air that they're breathing. So plants can, in, you know, increase the humidity in our houses. Um, it can purify the air um, and they can always uh, catch dust as well, which is great for anyone with sort of um, asthma or respiratory problems or anything like that. Um, and especially if you think of the, you know, we spend so much time indoors at the moment. Uh, you know, I think the average European spends 90% of their time indoors, which is more than a prison inmate does, which is quite a horrifying statistic. And if wow. you think that's usually in air conditioning offices and stuff like that, the air is really dry and it can lead to kind of like, uh, you know, lots of cold and flu-like symptoms. So plants are brilliant at kind of negating all of that. Um, and then for me, the kind of next level up is sort of thinking how plants are really restorative for us. So um, physiologically, we're kind of meant to be living a life in the wild. So um, we respond really positively to certain attributes of nature, such as color, um, form, pattern, and um, more specifically, our fight and flight response uh, sort of responds really positively to them. So uh, the opposite of that is when we're not surrounded by such beautiful attributes of nature is that we can be very much on edge. That's why we're in overdrive the whole time. That's why we have sensory overload and, and things like that. And it kind of leads to stress and anxiety and depression and all that. And then the, the third kind of level of plants for me is when you actually start to actively engage with them it has such huge benefits in terms of growing the gray matter in your brain, which is all to do with, um, you know, doing mindfulness practice and yoga. Um, so, I mean, there's just, and just, I mean, for me, particularly the one quality I really like is, and this is where I came to it all through therapy is that if you nurture a plant, you can start to nurture yourself better and you can also start to look after the world better as well. So it's, um, yeah, I mean, I could talk for hours on the benefits of plants, so I'll shut up. That's awesome. Yeah, no, but all that stuff is really, really interesting. And, um, you know, that leads into like our whole Plantex vertical, like that I'm so excited about. And obviously you've uh, created this community in the UK, which eventually we're looking to expand there, you know, whatever 60,000 uh, people part of that community is pretty incredible that you guys have built that over just a few uh, years and we're a strong believer that if somebody's looking to go plant-based they're looking for a healthier life and I think you've made it clear here just on that you know the first uh, few few minutes that you guys are speaking about really truly what that brings at the end of the day so I know John spoke earlier about how the you know the vertical and how you guys are planning on expanding throughout Europe what do you, what do you guys see the future growth look like here as a combined Kind of entity with uh, with Plantex. Yeah, look, I, 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 the opportunities are endless, right? And it's really, really exciting to be part of a, a, a much larger business and organization that, as you rightly say, has several verticals because we know our customers, they don't just want to buy plants. They want to live a plant-based lifestyle. And us as Bloombox at the moment, we, you know, we are predominantly a plant-based company. So I think now being part of the Plantex family, because we know that there's latent demand for people who are much more interested in trying to live a much healthier plant-based lifestyle. So I think, you know, the different verticals coming through, it's the same group of people, the same customers that I think we can continue to help out and take on this journey. And I think for us, you know, again, introducing a lot of the expertise that Katie has and some of the, the background and history and understanding of customers and growing a plant uh, company, we can be into North America as well. So I think, it's hugely um, advantageous and, and there's a lot of big synergies to be had and we're really, really excited. I think the feedback we've had already from a large number of our customers is great. Can't wait to see what the next products are. You know, we've got people all over Europe already interested in when are you going to launch? You know, when are we going to be able to get hold of your products and things? And, and so I think it's just really, really exciting. And, you know, I don't think there are enough hours in the day for us to be able to kind of do everything we want to do. But, I, you know, definitely the trajectory is there. It's, it's all good. Um, and yeah, we were really excited. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't agree more. And then the synergies between the two companies, that brings it to the next level. You know, a lot of people use this equation, one plus one equals 10, you know, but who really knows? I think it could be even bigger. And I get a lot of investors, shareholders saying, so what's the plan? How do we do it? And 
you know, I think that it's really important that we go out there and explain a little bit on how Bloombox is still going to remain as Bloombox, right? And you guys are recognized as the leaders of that vertical. So essentially, it's just going to become uh, proudly to be a Plant X corporation. Mm -hmm. And then back on to the Plant X platform, proudly being powered by Bloombox, you know? And I think that shows that we're bringing best in class you know, the best of the best to power each of our verticals. And that's kind of the, the growth we're going to be going through. So again, thank you very much for obviously believing in the vision, believing in the platform. I think that we're going to do tremendous things together. And Katie, we always do like a fun thing each week, like on these, um, you know, YouTube platform, we're trying to give everybody kind of like our platform. We don't want to tell people, oh, you've got to go to YouTube. We, we've worked really, really hard in hiring who we think is one of the best streamers out there. She's doing a wonderful job here today where she's making sure everything's perfect so that we give people choice. But part of the fun is for people to, while the show is going on, ask questions so we could ask them at the end of the show. And we want to get feedback. What are we doing really well on these? What could we do better, right? People are taking 20, 30 minutes out of their Saturday morning. We want them to feel like they're leaving, being so proud of being part of what we're building because we're all, like you said, John, we only have so many hours in the day. If I had a chance to speak to each person one-on-one, -on -one, I believe they would understand and feel the love and everything that we're building. So I feel this show allows us to go ahead and do a little bit more of that. So we love to get the feedback. And what we do is we give away three $50, um, you know, credits or vouchers for people to come try out our different products. So please give the feedback there, but we've been giving away the money plant each week and we figure that's what I know is the hottest plant because I see the orders coming in, but why not ask an expert on which plant should we give away this week and perhaps maybe why? Yeah, so um, one of my all time favorite plants is, is an alocasia. And I think, you know, we, we've got an alocasia poly in stock. And it's, it's a really thirsty plant. So that means it's, it's great at humidifying the air that we breathe, puts moisture back into the air. Um, but also it's got these really amazing green leaves and they're kind of structural, but they've also got a pattern on them. And it's, it's kind of a big all-rounder for me. So the alocasia is, is up for grabs, I think, if that's okay. <laughs> All right, that sounds great. So um, yeah, no, thank you very much for, uh, for coming on. And uh, we actually had a whole bunch of um, questions come in this week. It's really the first week, you know, our, our videos are getting more and more views. The, the episode one, you know, over a thousand views through all the platforms. Last week got off to a great start. So what's happening is we're getting a lot more engagement. And I, I was forwarded before the show today, a few questions that came in. And what we'd love to do in the future is during the show, if the questions come in, we could really start including those. But um, this one's for Katie. Um, how do you plan on finding partners to fill, fill uh, plant sales in the U.S.? What's the strategy behind that? So I guess, you know, really the question here is, yes, you're in the U.K., you're doing a great job. We'll be able to use that fulfillment throughout Europe. We see sales really picking up in Canada and the U.S. Uh, almost at the bandwidth here for our supplier. So bring someone on with your guys' expertise who went through the growing pains and everything, you know, what, what's the plan? Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, a lot of our guys in Holland are already, you know, uh, source plants over and also uh, supply plants over to the States and, and North America. But but also, I mean, I was lucky enough to be on a um, incubator earlier on in funded by Royal Flora Holland. And, and I got to know some Americans who also have uh, businesses and plant businesses over there. So very much um, looking to kind of, you know, meet their network and use our network over in Europe because it's a very small community, the growing community. Everyone knows each other. You know, typically the guys over in America would be getting plants from China as the, you know, some of our growers would be getting them from China. So it's a very small network. And I think um, one thing I really love doing is going out and meeting the growers. And, and you know, that's something that I think will continue to want to do with your health and, and other people as well. Yeah, and I think to add to that, you know, there are some amazing stories when you get to know these growers, because yeah. it's, it's like when you meet with anyone who's got such passion. You know, these guys are up at the crack of dawn, you know, their fingernails have just got dirt underneath them constantly. They're working 15 hour days, but for their love of plants and just trying to produce these and grow these things like it's their children. And so I think the more that we can try to 
meet these people, tell their story to the community, I think the better it is because then yeah. you know that this plant you've bought here, you know, it has a story behind it, has a background and, and you can relate to it a little bit more. So I think that's something that we'd really love to do, get over to North America, yeah. meet them and, and start telling the stories. Well. And I think something that, uh, you know, we know from the community over in Europe is that uh, they really want to work directly with the people who are selling their plants. You know, they, they don't want to be going through the middleman. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, applies over in yeah, no, and um, you know, I'm a true believer in energy. I know some people think that might be be crazy, you know, but like I notice when people love what they're cooking, like, and they're really putting the love in, it, it, it's got that extra flavor to it. And plants are like actually happier when people really truly take care of them. And people think that's crazy, like to even say, but I'm going on the record here saying I've seen it firsthand and it's really amazing. And even from what you just said, uh, a person out in the field who is really taking the time to understand what they're they're growing and everything about it. What well, I, I think maybe maybe next video we can get you singing to some of your plants, Sean. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> well, people lose some people on the, on the line. <laughs> you never know. So um, you know, Katie, we just got actually our first live question. So uh, I, I love that, and uh, the uh, the shareholder or investor or customer saying, you know, what is the best plant for the bedroom and which one's best for anxiety? Okay, so um, in the bedroom, I like to have calatheas. So um, again, they're very luscious, they're very green. Again, they put moisture back into the air, but what's brilliant about calatheas is that their leaves move throughout the day and at night and they kind of have their own circadian rhythm. And I kind of feel like, you know, we all need to be more at, peace or one or I don't know in tune sorry that's the right word in tune with our own circadian rhythms and I think seeing a moving plant and seeing how it sort of opens in the day and shuts at night is is a great one and in terms of anxiety I think um there's you know plants which are green and lush like I say they kind of bring your um sympathetic nervous system down so that's great they help you restore and relax but but also if there's a plant that you want to kind of engage with you know that can really be quite a mindful experience and take your mind off off other activities you know so using it as a very applied form of meditation you know that that's how I like to consider plant care um, and I always um you know I like to kind of have a, a 10 minute watering session or it's getting a bit longer as I'm getting more plants but on, on the weekend um and that for me is a really mindful kind of zen moment so yeah I think you also choose something like that to, to be very clear it's about an hour and a half session so we have about 150 plants <laughs> so <laughs> that's great you no, know, like uh, I'm really, really happy that uh, our shareholders and investors got to meet you today. You know, we probably could speak about this for hours. Literally, so many interesting things coming in, and uh, I even had more questions. Maybe we could do a Q and A after by emails and everything, and post them somewhere fun because uh, you know the show's only supposed to be 20 minutes, and we're already uh, well into it. And I know I'm going to end up getting in some sort of trouble for that. So want to keep everything streaming along here. And, uh, you know, I guess while we have you on, we'll announce last week's uh, winner for the money plant, which is Dr. Alan Ritter. And, uh, you know, we'll uh, make sure to get that out to him this week. And I know he's a customer and a shareholder and everything else. So um, thank you very much for, uh, for your feedback, Dr. Ritter. We'll get that out. And Katie, John. Thank you so much and look forward to building something absolutely incredible with you guys and uh, really looking forward to coming out hopefully by the end of this year to the uh, to the UK for us to really work on a global strategy. Obviously, our CEO, Julia Frank, she's right next door to you guys and yeah. Germany is definitely yeah. uh, one of the big targets out there for us to expand into in 2021. So thank you very much for taking time thanks. out of your day. Well, um, thanks very much for having us. We can't wait to to get over to you guys and, and, and meet all your stakeholders as well. So it's, it's exciting. Awesome guys, thanks. Yeah. So um, yeah guys, so once again, uh, thank you very much for joining on, uh, on the Saturday. Love what we are creating. I see the buzz out there, it's amazing. I uh, got a call from, uh, from my friend uh, you know, in Toronto the other day, he was at a small wedding nothing to do with the investment side or any part of uh, shareholders or anything of that nature. And all of a sudden they start speaking about how they're living a plant-based lifestyle. And has he ever heard of plant X? And I keep getting this over and over again, even our board member, um, Todd Shapiro, 
you know, he has a, uh, a podcast himself. He has a publicly traded company. And he says people are calling him saying, what, what's up with this Plant X company? I know just a few months ago it was a concept and now it's become a household name, um, you know, across Canada. And I think I said that on our first episode. My goal at the end of the day is not only, you know, to bring all this education, health and wellness, but I really want to make people's lives easier, especially with COVID. We see delivery companies, we see the market industry, we see people being curious and wanting to explore more. And we really want to bring experts together. You know, our CMO, Alex Hoffman, she's constantly saying that exact thing to me. She always wants to surround our team with experts in each category that we're building out. And it's so true, you know, and uh, I see that that's one thing that I learned, you know, 15 years ago when I started e-com or 20 years ago, it was always about, you know, really pushing, pushing, pushing. And you're able to do that so much, but with the size of the company we want to build here, we want to build a multi-billion dollar platform. The only way to do that is bringing on experts who really know how to roll up their sleeves. Because over the years I've learned just if somebody has a fancy title or that they worked somewhere great, they might be phenomenal managers, people managers. But Plantex at the end of the day still needs people to come, roll up their sleeves, work those 20 hour days. And that's how we've been able to, in just a few short months, create the amazing platform you already see. I get constant people calling in telling me the design, the econ, every part of what we're doing is really top class. And that's one thing, even the way our name is spelt with the capital P and to finish it with capital X and that X standing for collaborations and partnerships is exactly what you saw on the show today. And we look forward to many, many more of these types of integrations into the platform with incredible people such as Katie and John. So thank you very much for joining. And um, I want to just leave you with stay curious, stay planted, and stay healthy. Till next week. Cheers. Please check out www.plantx.com, the one-stop shop for everything plant-based and the digital face of the plant-based community. We have meal delivery, groceries, plant-based supplements and vitamins, and great ways to connect with like-minded individuals about the lifestyle we share. Stay healthy, stay curious, and we'll see you next time.